What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I wanted to do a quick video on The Last Guardian, a game that I'm playing, a game that's definitely not perfect, but it's a game that I am enjoying, but it's also a game that in my opinion is hurting itself. It's a beautiful game, has an amazing creature and a very tangible bond between this young boy and this creature called Trico. I've been really immersed in the emotion of this story and kind of building this real bond with this creature and seeing how it reacts and you know seeing that it actually has emotions and it feels good and it feels bad and navigating this world as this little boy with this creature in tow has been really amazing. Uh, there's a few times in this game that I've been playing that I've run into real issues. And, and these issues come from usually the creature's AI. There are a handful of uh, commands that you can give the creature as, as far as jumping up, reaching for something, attacking enemies, sitting down, and pretty much directing him where you want him to go. And this function has failed for me on numerous occasions at this point. Uh, there was one time in particular where I was supposed to be climbing up this long chasm to the top of this uh, to the top of this cliff, and I got almost to the top and I had one jump left. And instead of jumping up on this ledge, Trico, the creature, turned around and jumped all the way back down about five jumps to the very bottom again. Then he turned around, unprompted by me, and, com and completely jumped back up again on his own. There's also times where the AI and the actual player controllers don't work well together. There are portions of this game that are underwater, and while seeing this creature in the water is a beautiful thing, there are times where you have to dive, and that prompts the creature to dive with you. And only if you're right next to the creature will you be able to grab the creature and have him take you where you need to go. As you are a human being, you won't be able to hold your breath, but this creature is so big that it's able to move you underwater so much faster, so you do need him. And there was a time underwater, actually I'm in the middle of this part right now, where it took three or four times to get the creature in the right position so that I was able to go down deep underwater into the chasm I needed to reach. And there were about three or four times where the creature went by itself and I was stuck in the water watching him, watching him go through this long animation trying to get to the other side of this chasm. And then he realized he was there alone and then came back, which took about 30 seconds, 40 seconds for him to get back. And then I had to try again and fail again, try again, fail again. So the game does have some problems. Now, there is a new update available for The Last Guardian. It's patch 1.03 and it's out now. I'll drop a link in the description. The Last Guardian patch 1.03 out now on PS4. Sony has released a new update to The Last Guardian earlier today. This new update is patch number 1.03. The update itself is 167 megabytes. However, no comprehensive patch notes have been released for it yet. All it says after you download it is, quote, various other improvements, end quote. It's possible they made several bug fixes in The Last Guardian. If you have played the game before, you'll know Trico is not the most responsive creature. Sometimes he fails to listen to your commands or even lets you drop to your death. Hopefully this new patch makes the game easier to play. The good news is the game is good, but lots of bugs were still present in terms of how Trico is programmed. This is exactly how I feel. I feel like if this creature is patched to uh, react more comprehensively to your commands and do what it needs to do more often, this game can go from being a very high six for me to, you know, a, a medium eight. I think that what they've done as far as the presentation, what they've done as far as this real tangible bond that you feel with this creature is really amazing and transcends most video games that I've played this generation and even last generation. Uh, Team Eco is very, very competent and talented when it comes to crafting these types of experiences, but I think that they may have gotten a little ahead of themselves and they wanted to release this game and get it out there before these final bugs and kinks were straightened out. And so with that, let's hope that patch 1.03 is actually going to fix some of these issues. I'll definitely be getting back with you guys to let you know whether or not some of these problems have been ironed out. But as of right now, I'm still having trouble getting Trico to do exactly what he needs to do. I wanted to give you guys this update and let you know how I feel about the game at this moment. It's a great game. I think that it really 
has high benchmarks as far as uh, the presentation and the story that's being told without real narration. But the programming of the creature is holding it back from actual greatness. And hopefully Team Eco released this patch to address some of those issues. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a look.